Hello, and thanks for logging on to Channel6NewsOnline.com. I'm Eric Hanser here at the Prudential Center after both of the Sweet 16 games of the Eastern Bracket finally concluded. The first game was the Marquette Golden Eagles at the 11th seed playing against the tougher component, the University of North Carolina Tar Heels. This game was dominated by the Tar Heels, where Tyler Zauer really showed what he is made of, dominating on the block, making it an, an unstoppable problem for the Marquette defense. The second game really defined March Madness. It had the Kentucky Wildcats at the four seed, playing against the Ohio State Buckeyes, who have had an amazing season. This, this game had dunks, layups, alley-oops, three-pointers, everything a basketball fan can possibly ask for. In the end, it ended with freshman sensation out of Kentucky, Brandon Knight, winning the game with a game winner. Unfortunately, this ended the Ohio State Buckeyes' great year with a loss. But hopefully with stars like Jared Sellinger of the team as a freshman, they can have hope for next year. In the locker room with Brandon Knight, he said this after getting the game winner. How did it feel when you hit that game winning shot? It felt great just to you know be able to you know knock that shot down. Uh, it felt good leaving my hands, and I just thank God for allowing me to hit that shot. What gives you guys hope that you can beat University of North Carolina in the Elite Eight? Uh, you know, just that we beat the number one team in the country, uh, and that we know if we come out and compete, we can play with anybody in the country. When we went to the Ohio State Buckeyes locker room, it was a bit more of a depressing kind of mood, but we were able to talk with star player freshman Jared Solinger after his loss. Obviously, your season unfortunately got cut short this year, but what gives you guys hope that next year you guys can make a better better run? We don't like the taste that we have in our mouth right now. Um, losing is not what we do, and it's not it's not what we accept. And uh, to, to take this jersey off and, and see Dave Lighty and Eddie Days and Katz and um, Dallas Slider and John Deeble take off this jersey for the last time is uh, very touching because uh, they won't be able to put this jersey back on and be able to step on the court. All right, thank you. Best of luck to you. Of all the players in the Ohio State Buckeyes locker room, the one with the most emotions was certainly David Lightly, senior from the Ohio State Buckeyes, who had out, an outstanding four years with the team and it had to end tonight after losing to the Wildcats in a Sweet 16 game. We talked to him after the game, and this is what he had to say. David, it was a tough game, but you guys were all 40 minutes. were hustling up and down the court. If you guys were to repeat this game, how would you play different than you did now? Uh, I would just say uh, make shots. I think that was something that uh, we kind of didn't do today. Uh, probably just, you know, on the defensive end as well, uh, um, get rebounds and, um, you know, uh, get uh, good possessions when we need it. Here. Obviously, you came close. You became close with many of the players on the team. Are you still going to keep in touch with them uh, with your life? Most definitely, most definitely. Uh, you know, I, I won't be out on the court, but I'll still be around, you know, Buckeye Nation all the time. So uh, my teammates and I uh, have a relationship that will never be broke. As both of the games end tonight at the Prudential Center, there's only one, one seed remaining in the Elite Eight. We will be back here on Sunday when the Kentucky Wildcats go up against the University of North Carolina Tar Heels. This will be a really great game where the team that wants it more will advance to the Final Four. For Channel 6 News, I'm Eric Hansugger.